All right, today we're going to deal with three-dimensional figures and naming them and how to identify them. All right, so a couple new terms. Probably a polyhedron is just basically a solid that is bounded by polygons. Okay, so like if you go to the store and you get a box of cereal, you just picked up a polyhedron. Okay, so it's made up of different... Uh, polygons that are all like kind of have that one edge they have in common so they work your way around okay faces a face is the polygon that bind the polygon or the polyhedron together okay more often than not these are usually again usually going to be rectangles Okay, not always the case because sometimes you're going to get into a figure where all of the sides are the same. So if you have eight equilateral triangles together, that is called a tetrahedron. If you get 20 uh, equilateral triangles together, it, they form an icosahedron. Okay, so there's different things um, that could be faces, but most likely they are going to be rectangles. An edge is just a line segment formed by the intersection of two faces, right? When you pick up a box of cereal, the sharp point at the end is going to be the vertex, but like you have your long pieces of cardboard that you would fold on, that would be the edge. The vertex is just a point where the three or more edges meet. Again, like the corner of the box of cereal of Rice Krispies, um, or Cap'n Crunch. What's your favorite cereal? Anyway, uh, three types of solids. Okay, a couple kinds of solids. So you have polyhedra, which is just the plural for polyhedron. You have prisms. Okay, so you have prisms and you have pyramids. Okay, so those are the type of polyhedrons. Again, it's a polygon. Okay, that's bounded by a polygon. So notice the ones that aren't polyhedrons, you have circles in them at some point. Okay, a circle is not a polyhedron, okay, or it's not a polygon, all right, and so you have cylinder, cone, and lastly, a sphere um, that is not a polyhedron, all right, so let's take a look at what we have down below. Sometimes naming polyhedrons is incredibly difficult. Okay, no, it's not. Let's just make this very simple. Uh, the naming of the polyhedron is the name of a prism or a pyramid is determined by its base. Okay, so like this one right here, I've noticed you have this right here that I'm outlining is a rectangle. That is a face of the figure. The bases are what we name it by. So this is going to be a triangle, right? Because that part that there in red is a triangle. So we have a triangular prism. Okay. Prisms always have two bases. Pyramids just have that one. They meet up here at that vertex. So what is this red part right down there? Well, that is a triangle. So this is a triangular pyramid. Okay, so it's a triangular pyramid. If your base happens to be a hexagon, so if we were have a regular hexagon, something like this, that's a horrible one, then it would be a hexagonal pyramid or a hexagonal prism, okay? You have two bases. So name the base, that's what the name of the polyhedron is then. Okay, on the back side, for some reason, this part right here, everybody wants to make this so much more complicated than it actually is. A cross-section is the intersection of a plane, okay, not an airplane, everybody, and the solid 3D figure. Okay, so everybody see this nice little green shape that we have, and I just outlined it, okay? So when that plane, remember a plane is a flat surface that extends forever in both directions, has no thickness, when that plane cuts that pyramid in half, it looks like, what figure would you see? What is this dotted figure going to be right there that I just outlined? Well, that is a pentagon. Okay, so imagine you were to take 
let's just say for this figure right over here is an upside down ice cream cone, like a waffle cone, and you take it at the top and you slice it right down the middle, what figure would you see? What two-dimensional shape would you see if you looked at that from the end? Well, I hope everybody agree you'd be looking at a triangle. Okay, so that is a triangle. All right, so imagine if you were to cut a sphere, make say you took an apple or an orange and you cut it in half. When you look at the half that you cut, what do you see? You see a circle, so the cross section would be a circle. All right, let's take a look at these few down below. Okay, so for number one, all we're doing is identifying the cross section. So notice this cross section, it looks like the plane is running parallel to your base. So my base is a square, so what figure shows up on the plane? It is a square or if you put rectangle I would also take that I would let you know what kind of figure it is so that way you guys didn't potentially get that one wrong so if we take a look at number two this is going vertically through that so imagine if you were looking at the great pyramids in Egypt and you were to cut it right down the middle what figure would you see if you're looking at it from the side you would see a triangle alright go ahead and pause the video and give number one and two down below a try Okay, well, if we take a look at this one, this one might be a little bit trickier, but I hear I ha I'm cutting it like this. Okay, so that figure is kind of looking like if, if, if you say, if you wrote down rectangle, I could, I could go for that. If you put trapezoid, if you put trapezoid down, I would take that too. All right, so this one, for number two, this looks like it's running parallel to your bases, and we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is going to be a heptagon. Okay, for that one. All right, there you guys go.